Hey everyone, Pinch Owl here, and we're back. And on today's episode, we got an unboxing for my 71 VW bus. And we got a lot of stuff to do, so let's get to work because this is Pinch Owl's garage. We're gonna do the unboxing right over here on this empty nice floor because I have so much stuff going on on the other side it's ridiculous now I know what one thing is and it's because it's the biggest thing here and it's this guy right here this is a brand new gas tank for a 71 VW bus there we go open that bad boy up really quick Sorry, Ryan. Um, I don't know where I left my knife. The brand new knife that you gave me. I'm actually really disappointed because I just used it for the carpet in my bus. And now it's not there. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I probably will find it. It got moved somewhere. I don't know. Ooh, look at this beauty. So it's a brand new gas tank. So this is supposed to match the factory size uh, tank that's in a 71 VW bus. Um, you got the vent port right up here. This is a spot for the sending unit right here. And that's the fill neck. Um, I'm not going to install this one yet because we're missing the hose that connects the fill neck to the actual like spout in the where you actually fill the gas. Um, they're actually, believe it or not, they're harder to find than it is to find this guy. Um, the one thing I was excited for was underneath here. Here it is. This is a little different than the factory one from what I read. Yeah, so this has got a threaded top right here. So what that means, we can convert this to an A in line and have a much better and more <laughs> reliable line coming out of here to all our new fittings. Cause we're gonna be doing, on the next DIY when I actually put this in, we're gonna be making a, a full A in fuel system with the uh, inline fuel, fill, uh, fuel pump and filter. So this will have a nice A in fitting all made by me. Uh, I got tools for all that. So now I can actually make A in lines and do steel braided lines, which are a lot better than the factory stuff because it's safer and you don't have any potential of this thing catching fire. <laughs> so I'm very excited for this. I believe this is a 3 8 line from what I can recall. Now, from what I read in the, uh, the, the description, you have to fill these up with like solvent and gasoline and drain them uh, before you even use them because of the uh, build procedures and how they make them. So we'll get to that when we get to that point. So it's really nice, really happy. Move this guy over. Next box is a smaller one. One of these I've been waiting for because there's some important parts I need to get my bus going. Everything else is kind of like an additional stuff that I needed for uh, quality of life uh, improvement. So we got here. Oh, this is important. This is take it out. Ah, come on. Good job, J Bugs. You know, give them that. They packed it really well. This is a brake booster. Woo! And I don't know how this thing works, honestly, because I know how a normal brake booster works, 
But I don't know how to, an old air-cooled one works because they're a little weird. So, I don't know what this is. There's a nipple here, okay? And it's confusing to me because I don't know what that does. Um, yeah. <laughs> I know what this is. This is the vacuum source for the brake booster. So the booster actually does its job. Um, I don't know what this is for. I know there's a line that connects to this. And it runs all but the way I to the engine. I don't know what it does. I got to look at my manual and see if I need this or not. I don't know. But this is the factory bake booster that I needed to upgrade because the old one is no longer working. So that's good. Got that in. For the big box, really heavy one. This is the one I need just as bad. Oh, yeah! Arf, arf, arf. Car parts. Let's see what we got here. We got. You got the uh, rear trunk, uh, engine seal, which is very important. Here's that fuel pump I was talking about. So it has a electronic fuel pump with a filter and the mounting bracket. And it's super straightforward, it's a two wire fuel pump and it does about four to six PSI, I believe, which is all you need for a air-cooled motor. This is a very hard to find part. This is the brake fluid reservoir hose. Apparently these are like just weird. Very, very weird and very difficult to find. Got my J-Bugs though. Uh, motor mount uh, bolt hardware, I needed that. Brake fluid reservoir, because I have the original one in there, so I got a new one. Now the reservoir on the bus actually has two reservoirs. It's got a, a, a primary and a fill one. It's kind of weird. We'll show you guys all that when we start repairing all of that. This is a brand new fuel sending unit. It's like a little floater uh, from how they described it to me. So it's got like a float on side of here and that's and it's single wire and that's how it tells you how it gets fuel. <laughs> I needed a new one because my old one was janky. And for 30 bucks, I mean, you, you, you just can't. You just can't, you know what I mean? Can't say no. Oh, uh, finally some new tail light assemblies. My old ones are pretty much on their way out. So I got brand new tail lights. Um, the ones I have right now, pretty much this whole back piece is busted and it's like grounding out. And so the bulbs will like just stop working just out of nowhere. So replacement units, I mean, they're not amazing quality. These are, these are okay. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. These are not as nice as the factory ones. But uh, turn signals and braking is very, very vital uh, while you're driving in a really, really old vehicle, especially from the 70s, uh, when your lights rarely work. So very happy with that. So I got the left and the right one, or they're exactly the same, but uh, just left and right. This big boy is the starter. This is what I need for today's project. So I can get my bus up and running. 
Brand new factory starter from Bosch. And these are actually super important because this is actually how your bus gets power throughout the entire uh, end car. The main loom actually wires up to here for your starter, which is uh, something I forgot. <laughs> the main power for the entire car, for the front of the car, gets its power right here, <laughs> which is very odd. But yeah, that's, that's how that works for these guys. So need that for today's uh, project. Now we got front and rear shocks uh, for my special. What is in this? I don't know what's in here. Oh, oh, you gotta be careful. Okay, engine studs. The little, this is the reservoir that sits on the top of the car uh, in, the, in the actual, behind the driver's seat. So this is how you fill your brake fluid in your 71 VW bus, this little tiny reservoir. That's adorable. We got new motor mounts. Uh, these are the grommets for the reservoir. Another stud, another motor mount. Uh, this is the, what is this? Oh yeah, this is for the fuel tank. Um, this is how we access the fuel. I needed that. And this is a brake light switch for the bus. So my brake lights work. And then that's it, man. That is today's unboxing. We got a lot of stuff to do. Um, and we're going to try to do a lot of film, a lot of this as much as possible. So if you guys are tuning in and enjoying some of the unboxing, definitely be ready for some content for uh, VW buses because we got some stuff coming. Definitely. If you're, again, if you're into this stuff, old school stuff, keep all that. And that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully you appreciate that. Um, stay tuned. We're going to teach you guys how to wire up a... Fuel pump for a, for a VW bus. Um, right now, again, these have basic fittings on them. We're gonna convert these to A in lines after the fact. Um, we're gonna wire it up so everything works correctly. And then later down the line, when I put the new fuel tank in, we're gonna wire it so it has a, I mean, we're gonna plumb it with A in fittings instead of these, uh, these 3 16 lines. We're gonna have probably push, push connect fittings here. Um, or just a barb, maybe just a barb on each end, a barb fitting. Uh, yeah, so a hose to a barb fitting and then convert that to an AN line. I don't know yet what we can and can't do with this setup, but again, we'll see as I move forward and how see what else we can do with it. So thank you again. You guys have a wonderful day. Peace out. Enjoy this episode of Unboxing with Pinchiao's Garage. Next time, we're going to have some more content for you guys. Deuces.